Texas Math Mundo audience, are we in store for a treat today? In the house, the Goose Creek Memorial Patriot uh, Mathematics Team uh, out of Baytown, Texas, a powerful Class 5A Region 3 team looking to make a splash this year. Coach Kang and the gang, right ahead. Uh, let me take a quick moment and ask that if you enjoy this content, that you please hit the subscription button and the notification bell, that you leave a comment below, and you smash that like button. I have many wonderful and beautiful things in store for this channel. Help me spread the joy. Uh, again, the Goose Creek Memorial Patriot Mathematics Team, right ahead. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. today in the house the Goose Creek Memorial Patriot Mathematics team out of Baytown and uh, welcome guys welcome say oh, hi thank you. wave 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you so <laughs> we're going to do a quick introduction when I call your name please give me three pieces of information give me your name your grade level and an interest outside of UIL okay all right Swam. Uh, I'm Swam. I'm a junior and I like playing tennis. All right. All right. Aaron. Hi, my name's Aaron. I'm a senior and I like working out. All right. Hirsch. Hi, I'm Hirsch. I'm a senior too and I like playing tennis. Oh, tennis. All right. All right. Uh, Lash. Hi, I'm a freshman. <laughs> what do you like to do? No. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Lux and I'm a freshman. I like to play tennis. All right, all right. Ayush. I am Ayush. Uh, I'm a freshman too and I like reading. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And Kati. Uh, hi, I'm Kathy. I'm a freshman and I like to read too. All right, all right. Hey, Aaron, you said you like to work out? Yes. Do you bench? Uh, I used to. My shoulder got hurt. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was just kind of curious. All right, and the coach. Oh, I I am Mr. Kang. I am the coach of the Goose Creek Memorial Math Team. Uh, this is my twelfth year teaching and coaching UIL. Awesome, awesome. And what do you do outside of uh, outside of class besides read math books? Uh, <laughs> I do a lot of martial arts. Me and my whole family do it together, and uh, play lots of video games. Really? Martial arts? So what sort of martial arts? Uh, it's called Kuk Suwon. It's a Korean martial arts. Korean? Same. Wow. Fascinating, fascinating. That's great. All right. So who's the leader? Who's the leader here? Swam. Just by your scores alone, I would have predicted you're the leader. Your scores are <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks. So, so Swam, how's the chemistry on this team? Well, the chemistry is really great. We all work really well together. Yeah. How long have you known these guys? Uh, I've known Adam and Hirsch since since I was in elementary, and I got to know everyone since since middle school. Really? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'll ask some questions to the leader and some questions to everybody. But right now, I've got a question for Aaron. Aaron, can you describe the Goose Creek 
Can you describe Goose Creek Memorial High School? What's the academic environment like there? Well, the academic environment here is pretty competitive. I mean, we do offer a lot of upper level classes and courses, and obviously a lot of people get more interested the more students are involved. So one of the main things that I like doing is people are sometimes scared of these upper level courses, but when we get involved, we tell them, hey, it's not that bad, you know, you do this, you do this and you'll succeed. A lot of people get involved and end up liking the subjects. So I think that's one of the unique environments we have here at this week. Oh, okay, okay. Is uh, the competition for class rank tough? Uh, it's kind of tough at the upper acc accolades, but. Okay, 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 great. And what grade do you say you were? I'm a senior. And SWAM, what grade are you? I'm a junior. Junior, okay, cool, cool. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, last year, you had some pretty good results. Aaron and SWAM, you both qualified for number sets in state. We went to state in number sets last year. And SWAM, you qualified for state in calculator and mathematics. Well, and then I just took a look at the district results. The, you all just uh, dominated your district. You, you swept district in number sets, calculator, and math. So, Coach, yes. what does yes, it sir. look like for region? Uh, I mean, we have a lot of opponents. We definitely respect that region. Uh, I think looking at the results, uh, we never really want to take anything for granted. Number sense is looking good. Uh, calculator, I know us and Wisdom High School are pretty neck and neck. And then college stations, of course, both college station schools are always going to be, you know, pretty competitive regardless of uh, where they're at currently. Uh, mathematics, they have us be pretty handily. We're trying to bridge that gap before April 22nd. But uh, working hard, we meet, you know, after school whenever we can. And, uh, yeah, All pretty, right. pretty. Swam, how has preparation been this year? Uh, it's been, it's been going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's not the best, but, I mean, it could be better. Okay, okay. Hey, do you know who your rivalries are? Uh, my rivalries, I feel like my biggest competitor is myself, because every time I go, I want to beat my old scores. I don't, I'm not really worried about other people's scores. I got you. That's good. That's good. That's good. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, Coach, you think you'll make it to state in uh, number sense? Uh, we're hoping so. We never, there's always, you know, like competition day jitters. There's always random things that can happen. We never want to take anything for granted. <laughs> A couple of 143s randomly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, I, I think we feel pretty good about it. We're going to keep working hard. And we have, I mean, our other, we have three freshmen on the team who made it past a lot of other upperclassmen. So uh, we're hoping to keep the program growing as we lose some of our higher ranking uh, members. Okay, so. awesome. Hey, yeah. I saw the results coming out of district. You all in Wisdom High School are neck and neck in calculator. Yes, sir. Trying real hard to... Uh, to make sure we're answering a few more really i mean of course speed is kind of the uh biggest enemy on calculator especially for our freshmen on the team but um i think the more we study some of the past problems and prep for some of the variations we're going to see i think i think it'll work out okay okay cool 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 awesome well good luck to you guys now i want to ask each member what your goals are or were for this year so each one of you, tell me what your goals were uh, for this year. So, SWAM. So, one of my biggest goals is to make state and hopefully do something good there. And uh, I also do want to do better than I did last year, which is probably the main thing. Okay, cool, cool. Aaron. Uh, my goals are kind of the same. Uh, my main thing I want to do is try to get break 200 comfortably in all three competitions. And I've been able to do it at one competition, just not all three simultaneously. So I'm working on that. Right, Nervousness. That's a lofty goal. That's a lofty goal. Breaking 300, you said? 200, 200. Not that lofty. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. Wow, wow. Okay, cool. Hirsch, what's your goal? Um, so this year I came in uh, wanting to make state in physics because I've always been like a physics kind of like person. So currently at district, I got first at my at region. At, at our district, I got first for physics. And I've just been like studying that, trying to get hopefully get first at region and go to state. All right, a physics specialist. Good, good. Losh. Um, this year I wanna make it state, and I'm hoping I can like set a bar for next year, so I know what to do next year. What grade were you in, Losh? I'm a freshman right now. Oh, young one, a young one. Okay, cool, cool. Ayush. 
So pretty much I want to make it to state. And one of the things I really want to do is reach 200 on a numbers instance. Oh, good go, good. And what grade were you in, Ayush? I'm also a freshman. Wow, some young guys, young guys. And Kati? Uh, yeah, so I'm a freshman. I think right now my main goal is just to get my basic down and to know, like, what I need to do and how I need, like, what I need to learn in order to get the scores that I want in the future. Oh, okay. Hey, that back row is all freshmen. Wow. That just, Goose Creek Memorial oh. ain't going anywhere. They're here to stay, apparently. Oh, and just to explain with uh, Hirsch's physics, so uh, our club that we have after school, so I'm actually the head coach for five of our UIL events. So I do number sense calculator math, but I also am the head coach of science and spelling. So if you ever, yeah, we're also working on those as well after school. But. Oh, that's a lot of hats to wear, man. That's <laughs> a lot of hats. Wow. Um, How do you juggle it all? Hey, Swam, what do you think the team goals are? Uh, I think as a team, our goal is to improve. And, you know, uh, like we all said, our goal is to make state. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I'm going to ask each member again to tell me, how did you enter competitive mathematics? And also, when you explain, do a shout out to either parents, teachers, peers, rivals, anybody who might have inspired you along the way. So, how did you get into competitive mathematics? And do some shout outs for me. Swam. I got into math with uh, junior high math counts, and I'd like to shout out to my parents for encouraging me to keep on working hard. Awesome, awesome. That math counts is a great middle school program. Aaron. So I started my math journey back in elementary school with UIL, and I kind of picked it up more in math counts. I also have to shout out my parents because they're the ones who kept pushing me. I sat down with my dad. I was like, this is really cool. I want to do this, but I don't think I can. He's like, all right, I'll sit down with you. I'll help you study. And so that's how I got here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hirsch. Uh, same thing. I started off in elementary UIL, and then I picked it up with math counts in middle school. Uh, I want to shout out my parents and my brother, who actually did UIL too. He's the one who kind of like, like got me into UIL, like started teaching me like different number sense tricks, stuff like that. Okay, great, great, great. Lash. I started off in math counts, and then I want to thank my brother because like he was the one who taught me everything. And if it wasn't for him, I would not be here. Oh, okay, nice shout out, man. Ayush. So I started out in elementary when I did UIL spelling. And I want to shout out my mom because she made me do a bunch of UILs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kati. Uh, yeah, so I think my, my math journey started probably in the beginning of middle school, whenever I was on like the math teams and with math counts. And I think the people who supported me the most are my fam my entire family. So that's my brother, my mom, and my dad. They've all really pushed me and they've like helped me learn a lot throughout the way. Hey, Kachi, in particular, I have a question for you. You're not intimidated being surrounded by all these guys, are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, no, they, they make me feel really comfortable. Oh, great, 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 great. Awesome. Cool. Now, I'm going to ask about prediction swam. What did you say your prediction is for a state? Uh, do good. <laughs> I don't have a set like, place or anything. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and you're your own competitor. I, I remember that. You're your own competitor. Hey, I'm going to ask each member, what's your favorite part about being part of a math team? All right, what do you like the most? about being part of this group. Swam. I love the competitive environment, how we're always trying to beat each other, but also help each other like do better. So I love the like collaboration with competitive environment at the same time. Okay, cool, cool. Aaron. So one of the things I would say is I really like uh, working with these guys, doing math all the time. But one thing that we love doing is there's this game called Super Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's After the name of the game? What's the name of the game? Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay. So after school, like after math, of course, after studying, uh, we'll compete each other in the game. <laughs> and let's just say it's a lot of fun. But uh, yeah. Hey, you know, it can't be all work and no play. You have to have some fun, man. You know what I'm coming from? So I, I love that. I love and it's probably a good bonding experience. Hirsch. <laughs> uh, I just like making fun of everyone on the team. <laughs> Especially our coach, Mr. Kane. <laughs> All right, Lash. Um, I really like how we're all like friends on the team, and I think it's just a lot of fun. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Ayush. 
So I really love learning something new and making progress towards my goals. Awesome. And Kati? Uh, yeah, I also really enjoy learning new things. And I like that. I'm just, I'm really comfortable with everyone. I joined the math team kind of late, but I really enjoy it. Well, you're only a freshman, so you still got plenty of time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, Swam, your scores have been the most impressive. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're ridiculously good. So I want to ask this question to you in particular. What advice can you give any student that happens across this interview? So the most important advice I can give is to just practice. The only way to get good at these competitions is to just do the problems over and over again. And whenever you do a test, don't just leave it. Look, look at what you missed and everything. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So practice hard, go over your tests. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So now, each member, we're gonna go one more time. I wanna ask, what are your final words or parting thoughts as we conclude this interview? All right, Swam. So uh, first, I'd like to thank you for having this interview with us. And, uh, wait, what was the question? Final <laughs> words, parting thoughts. Oh, okay. Um, as a final thought, I, I really hope we all do great this year, and I'm excited to see where we go. Awesome, awesome. Aaron. Uh, final words, let's see. I would say that practice tr uh, trumps over uh, talent. Like, one of the main things is some people come into it thinking, oh, I'm not good at math, I can't compete. But trust me, every single time, if you practice hard enough, you will overcome someone who's talented. You're just starting off at different places, but you will surpass them if you put in the work, of course. Practice trumps talent. I like that. It's true. All right. Hirsch. Uh, I think just doing what you like. Uh, Joy Math Club is just really giving me an avenue to do what I like. I like doing physics. I like doing math. And I just find other people here who I can do that with. That's good place. Good, good, good stuff. Lash. I think if you like keep on doing it, you will eventually get better. It just takes time. Yes. Cool, cool. Ayush. Um, I feel like if you have a passion for math, you should definitely go for it, and anybody be, can be good. I mean. Cool, cool. And Kati. Um, I think oh, it's important for people to know that whenever it comes to math, um, people think that oh, if they're not naturally good at it, then they must not have a passion for it or things like that. Like people are really intimidated by the subject. I feel. And I feel like people need to know that when you're, whenever you're doing math, you're gonna, you're gonna kind of fail. Like you're gonna get problems wrong. To be honest, you're gonna get a lot of problems wrong. You're gonna not understand the basics, and you're gonna like feel like you don't understand it. But that's all part of the learning process, and you need to understand that if you ever want to get better. Awesome, persevere, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, coach, what do you got for anybody listening to this interview? Um, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to, uh, oh, we always get asked all the time what our shirt is. So um, so the function in the front of the shirt is the Taubin heart function. So it just makes a 3D heart when you graph it 3D. Um, on the back, well, let's see. Well, I usually you stand up and turn around. It's a quote from our former would-be valedictorian, uh, Kyrie Young. He passed away in the summer before his senior year due to heart complications. And he was really the first catalyst for jump starting our team to you know any form of success uh he was one of the brightest kids i have ever possibly ever will see he uh qualified for the usa math olympiad he uh was the number one overall junior at the tmsca state meet before he passed away he was bound to do great things and uh every time i think about competitive math or do anything in this world i always kind of think about Kyrie and um like try to make sure we practice hard enough and we you know put out scores and a product that would make him proud uh his parents still work in the district i keep in touch with um his mom and dad every now and then and um that's i think that's one of my biggest motivating factors for working so hard at something that's after school extra because i have three little kids at home it's hard for me to find the time outside of normal school hours but this is the one thing that I love doing outside of my normal classes. And I see doing it the rest of my life, even after I retire. Coach, I remember him. I do remember him and how outstanding he was. Uh, it's great to hear that he remains an inspiration to you and the team all these years later. Yes, sir, always. And did y'all write a book together? We did. We actually, um, because at the time, 
uh, we didn't really have a lot of access to uh, other things besides, you know, what's readily available on the UIL website. So um, over the course of a few summers, Kiri and I actually wrote uh, a mathematics textbook. So, uh, you know, over the span of like three PDFs, you know, several hundred pages each, and it covered essentially every trick we could think of on the UIL math test. So uh, I do need to update it a little bit nowadays that, you know, we have a little bit more calculus and statistics there instead of, you know, history and mathematics. We'll, we'll try to get those revisions out at some point. But uh, I feel like just the act of writing the book with him made me appreciate UIL so much more. And it really just kind of helps our prep, especially for any incoming freshmen that choose to look at the book or, you know, as we practice, if we need to come up with a quicker way to do a UIL math problem, we have a resource to look at. Whereas we just, you know, we didn't used to have it. And then it also motivated me to do a lot of extra prep, like, you know, writing. I've written a ton of programs for our calculators, for UIL Calculator. I learned T the TI Basic programming language so I can do that. And um, just trying to make sure we can put forth the best effort we can and not have any regrets, whatever happens. Wow, wow. So, yeah, he was a special individual and... Uh... I'm glad he remains inspired. But you know what? You look like you've got a lot of special individuals around you. I'm really digging the chemistry of this team, Coach. Tell me, tell me a final word about the chemistry. How's the chemistry among these guys? Um, they, I mean, like you were saying, I think having fun is the most important aspect of doing something like this because it is competitive. It is hard, and we put in a lot of, you know, sweat and tears. Hopefully, not too much blood, but we, <laughs> but. The more fun you have, the more willing you are to put the effort into something like this. And I feel like just having the camaraderie is one of the most vital things you can do to to foster a good math team. The other, you know, schools in our district, they can't even get students to practice regularly, even though they have similar school sizes. And I think a lot of that is because I have grown a program that we know what to look forward to when you get to high school and we know that we're going to take it seriously. Awesome. Well, a couple of things, you know, I really wish you all good luck as you enter the region meet, you know, class 5A, region 3, you all look very, very strong, but there's some other strong schools like A&M Consolidated, College Station, Wisdom, but that includes you guys. Swayam, I'm so impressed with you individually. Aaron, very, very strong. And I'm just very impressed with you all. Now, you freshmen in the back, let me say something to you guys. I'm in Region 3. My team's in Region 3. We're going to cross paths the next three years quite often. So when we go to local area tournaments, I'm going to be watching out for you guys, man. And I hope, I hope all of you all, if our paths cross, that you will tap me on the shoulder and say hi at least. That would give me great pleasure. For sure. It's there. Yeah. I'll make him do it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You'll make him do it. Well, hopefully you won't have to force him too much. Hopefully you won't have to force him too much. Seriously, guys, I'm a fan. Goose Creek, Goose Creek Memorial Patriot Matt team. I'm a fan. Best of luck, guys. I appreciate you guys. And farewell, guys. Farewell. Thank Bye you very much. Guys. Thank you for having us. Bye. Hey, my pleasure. My pleasure. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Wow, what an incredible group of students. I really enjoyed that, that interview with the Goose Creek Memorial uh, Patriot Mathematics team, Coach Kang and the gang, and uh, it was a real pleasure to interview, to interview them. Thank you guys, I appreciate the insight, and good luck this year uh, at Region and State. Uh, let me take a quick moment and ask that if you enjoy this content, did you please hit the subscription button and the notification bell, that you leave a comment below, and you smash that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's spread this joy, let's spread this beauty to as many people as possible. I have plenty of wonderful things in store for this channel, and I truly appreciate your support. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas. Mad Mundo. Farewell.